in today's video we will learn that how we can create dynamic parameters in power bi using sql server so for that i had already written a query so we can copy it go to the power bi sql server and here we have to choose the data connectivity mode import and under advanced option we can paste this query and for the sql server name should be just copy this name and paste it here and under database just copy this adventure box 2012 and paste it here so we'll click ok So here you can see we have uh, these columns and uh, we can just directly load it. And again, go to the transform data. Just rename it to products. And then we need a duplicate and uh, let's see we can create let's create a parameter color so just name it color right click here and remove other columns and then remove duplicate Then right click here and go to the drill down. So it will convert the table into the list, right? So click on home, go to advanced editor. And here we need to, because these are the values uh, row wise. So now we need to create a string. So every value should be under a single quotes. So every value should be under single quotations separated by comma so we have to write here like uh, color you can create any color so we need to create a one step here color you can write any name or we can write for example color 2 is equal to single quotation under double quotes and combine is a text start combine this one and uh, the first parameter should be text that would be color 1 comma and uh, double quotations single course comma and here we need to add one more closing single quotation this one so the output would be color 2 done so here you can see we have created a string separate by comma so let's go back to the products this table and here you can see we have uh, multiple colors if i click here we see different colors right so and uh, this color you can create any like uh, any filtering here so this data will always be refreshed because we are getting data from the sql server so for example here you can see we always need uh, black blue gray these three colors 
just for the demonstration of this video and uh, then we need to go to the products so go to the advanced editor and here we need to create a variable so let's go to the management studio and copy this query and write here like a query one this is the name of the variable is equal to double quote uh, double quotations and then we need to paste the query here right so here we have to one create one where clause where p dot color in and we need to close it and uh, then we have to add the parameter that we have created as a color this one and we need to close it that's it and uh, SQL query two is equal to query one. Query two is another variable. So then we need to go here. And we need to remove it so query we need to provide the query to the variable then we need to close it and close this so that's it right so click done um, permission to record or on this native database query edit permission run it so here you can see this is our first variable, right? And uh, this one is the second variable. So, I mean, we don't need like a second variable. So you can just So we can remove it because the only one variable is was enough. I was thinking something else, but that's fine for that. Okay, so here you can see this is a query and it contain black, blue and gray, right? Black, blue and gray. So let's close and apply. And uh, then again, we need to click. Table. Yep. The products, we like English product, subcategory, this one, color, class. So here you can see we have a blue, black, and uh, and gray this one right so every time when we will have new data in the database this parameter uh, color parameter will always get the, the new data from the database so this is how you can create dynamic queries whenever you want to connect power bi with the sql server if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please Write in the comment box. Thank you.